Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today in this video we will learn how to set up your WordPress website on any PHP script on Contabo BPS hosting. We will install WordPress website using Cyber Panel Control Panel. First of all, we will install Cyber Panel Control Panel on your server, BPS server. Then I will show you how to install any WordPress website and transfer your existing website to your BPS server. If you already hosted your WordPress website or any website on your shared hosting, I will show you how to transfer your existing website to your BPS server. And let me show you what's the web hosting and how it works. Domain name is your web address that's allowed to visit your website into the internet like facebook.com, google.com, amazon.com, amazon.it, it is it. And web hosting is an online service that allows you to publish your website files, folders, databases, and images, and everything. Web hosting is like our computer. Your computer has CPU, RAM, ROM, or SSD or operating system. You can host your website on your personal computer or home PC, but you will face some problem, electricity problem, security issue or another problem and you don't able to run your computer for 24 hours. That's why you need to purchase web hosting from web hosting provider and web hosting providers can give you lots of web hosting package, shared hosting server, BBS server and dedicated server and your server will be run 24 hours. Also you will get a highly secure server to run your website. But in this video, we will learn how to purchase BPS server from Contabo.com. I will give you this link in the video description box below. So, why use BPS hosting for your web hosting solution? Basically, normal share hosting won't provide you unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, and it has lots of limitations. You don't able to customize any package and any option. They can provide you their package and you can use their package. And uh, if you get lots of traffic on your website, you will face lots of server limitation issue like CPU limitation issue and bandwidth issue and another issue and you will face some error like that server down error but you can use share hosting for your starter website or your new website or your portfolio or normal business website that's why we need to purchase bps hosting or dedicated server for our highly trafficable website and for our big website so let's get started and before starting this video please like comment share and subscribe the youtube channel to get more updates so first of all visit quantabo.com and I will give you this link in the video description box below. You can check my link. You can buy some different of packages from here, uh, BPS package if you compare hostinger package and price you can easily compare it. From hostinger packages you will get uh, 4 virtual CPU, 16 GB RAM and 4 terabyte bandwidth at $13 and from the Contabo, Contabo will give you 6 virtual core, 16 GB RAM and 32 terabyte traffic at $14. That's why I wanna buy BPS service from Contabo but Contabo don't provide you live chat support system but you can call them if you face any problem. So first of all visit Contabo.com and I wanna buy this package from here. Just click on select button and buy 6 virtual CPU and 16 GB RAM. Then scroll down and select your term LAN. So I want to buy this virtual private server or BPS hosting for 12 months. And you can select it from here and monthly cost will be $11.99 and scroll down and as you can see region select your region so i want to select this region germany uh, region european union so you can select it or you can select your favorite region and storage type you can select ssd storage uh, 400 gb ssd or you can select nvme ssd storage type but i want to select ssd and uh, scroll down and select your image or operating system okay so if you select os you will get some operating system plex and cpanel and you can buy cpanel from here and you will get five cpanel uh, whm account or you can select ubuntu i want to select ubuntu server and uh, i will install cyber panel in the ubuntu server and you can select ubuntu version from here and i have selected uh, default version and then login and password for your server 
if you want to access your server using uh, SSH keys or putty software, you can use this password uh, letter. So I want to generate my new password. Just click on generate new password and you will get this password and copy this password from here. I want to copy this password and save this password anywhere. I will use it later and you can change this password anytime. Don't worry, I will show you. And scroll down and networking. So select your networking or you can select your any option. But I wanna set my default option. Uh, I don't change it. And select add-ons. You can select your object storage add-on. If you wanna increase your disk space, you can select it from here. And uh, backup space, you can also select your backup space and server management, you can select unmanaged and manage server management so i have selected unmanaged because of it's a free and i will secure my server if you select managed they will manage your server and secure your server but i wanna manage my own server that's why i have selected unmanaged then monitoring system you can select it but i don't want it and you can select ssl certificate so i will show you how to get a free ssl certificate i don't want to buy their ssl certificate then click on the next button and select your status uh, you can use this hosting uh, package for your business purpose or your personal or private or individual purpose so i have selected this option i wanna use this web hosting account for my private or individual so you can also uh, select it i am a contable customer uh, if you have existing account but i don't have any account i am new so i have added my personal information then set your email address and set your confirm email address and add your uh, personal information then click on the next button and you can buy this package using your paypal debit card or credit card or any mastercard or you can use your pioneer mastercard to buy this package okay so i wanna use paypal to buy it and you can select other option then select paypal and click on the next button and you can see your order details then click on this button order and pay okay so i have successfully ordered this package and wait 15 to 20 minutes uh, to ready your web space bds or vps or dedicated server wait maximum 48 hours for dedicated server or three hours for vps bds or web space then you can check your email address uh, to get the order confirmation message or email and you will get this option order status you can check your order status from here and check order status and as you can see we have got our order or uh, you will receive another email and as you can see we have got our uh, server information to log in our server or access our server and you will get uh, pps server information to uh, log in your server or ip don't worry i will show you how to use this information and how to ready your server so first of all we need to visit our control panel or uh, contable control panel just visit this link then you can use this email address and use your password so just uh, paste your email address and paste your password then click on login and as you can see we have successfully logged our contable control panel and click on your servers and as you can see this is our bps server and we have successfully uh, purchased this server and our monthly cost and you can manage your bps hosting from here click on manage and click on control okay and as you can see we have got uh, some options to manage our uh, server so you can easily manage it and you can reinstall your server if you wanna reinstall your ubuntu version or another uh, operating system you, you can select it or you can start or stop your server from here and you can control everything and if you wanna uh, reinstall your ubuntu or you can uh, select your server password just click on it and select your ubuntu or another uh, 
uh, operating system from here and select any panel or set your new password to access your access your web server using SSS client. So I will show you how to uh, install WordPress or how to install cyber panel on your server. First of all, we need to download a simple software uh, that's named Putty. Uh, so uh, search for Putty to log in your server or access your uh, server using SSH. Okay, so this is the very popular software and simple software. Just visit this link and download the putty from here. Click on download putty. I'm using Windows, so I wanna use Windows installer or I wanna download Windows installer from here. Let's click on the download link and wait a few seconds. Now downloading this file, then install this file. So I am installing the putty software click on next and click on install and add a few seconds so after successfully install this uh, software then you will get some option just click on putty from here then you have to put your server information and select ssh from here then uh, add your ip address so this is our server ip address just copy this ip address from here and go back to put this software and paste it over here then type port so our port is uh, double two by default then click on ok and type your uh, username so our username is uh, root default username is root so type root and hit enter and as you can see we need to add our password so you can easily change this password from here click on manage then go to uh, a password option click on here and you can also set your new password or you can use your previous password so i wanna generate my new password from here then uh, copy this password from here and click on this button and i want to change this password from the uh, panel and see we have successfully change this password and uh, collect this password anywhere and paste this password click on your mouse right button and hit enter don't worry you will face some issue like that just close this software and again open this software put this software from here and again paste your uh, server ip address uh, I, again i want to copy this server ip address and paste it and click on ok and uh, type your root so uh, type root and again paste your password just click on mouse right button and hit enter and as you can see we have successfully logged our Contabo server now you can check your swap and memory space just uh, type free and hit enter and as you can see uh, we have got our total memory space uh, 16 GB and as you can see we have got another option so now we are trying to install cyber panel control panel to install wordpress or another php script and you can install webujo control panel or vesta panel or uh, cpanel but cpanel is a pro version you can use free trial or you can check their packages you can run web hosting business using cpanel or whmcs so just click on buy cpanel and you can set up cpanel on your server you will get one account at 15 dollar and you will get up to five cpanel account at 24 dollar and if you want to run your web hosting business you can buy the pro package you will get up to 30 accounts but i want to install cyber panel uh, free control panel and you can use this uh, cyber panel for free and you will get graphical interface to install wordpress and another website and easily manage your wordpress website uh, php script or another platform uh, website html website to install cyber panel you can search on google install cyber panel in ubuntu uh search it on google and you will get uh, some installation process just uh, follow this link cyber panel community or uh, cyber panel official address uh, click on it then uh, click on docs 
and see installing cyber panel click on this link then follow these instructions and requirements so first of all you need to connect your uh, server using ssh okay so we have successfully connected our server using uh, putty client or putty software then update packages so we need to follow uh, the second step and this line for ubuntu uh, operating system and if you install send os or another uh, platform you can use these uh, lines uh, but i wanna copy this line because of i have installed ubuntu in my server okay then paste this line and hit enter and wait a few seconds and now upgrading our ubuntu packages after one to two minutes and you will get this message done so we have successfully upgraded our uh, packages then we need to install our cyber panel script and run the installation script uh, just copy this line and go back to your option uh, let's copy this line and paste this line over here then hit enter and then it will ask you some question let's add 30 to 40 seconds and see first of all you need to install cyber panel so type one from your keyboard and if you type two it will uh, exist this installation process so type one and hit enter and uh, if you want to install cyber panel uh, or cyber panel free or pro version uh, open light speed is the free and second number two is uh, light speed enterprise so uh, this is the pro version so we don't want to install pro version we want to install free version so that's why i wanna try uh, one from my keyboard so type one i wanna install free version and see install full service for cyber panel so type y and hit enter and do you want to set up uh, remote mysql i don't want to uh, set up mysql remotely and then install mysql my native server uh, so just type n that means no so uh, type n and hit enter and press enter to continue with latest version enter space so you can install your specific cyber panel version type the version name and hit enter to install a specific version or hit enter to install latest version of cyber panel then please choose your default admin password so you can choose your or uh, set your uh, default admin password from here so i wanna install or set default admin password then you can change your uh, admin or password uh, from your cyber panel uh, don't worry so i will uh, do it later uh, but i wanna install uh, default then type d d for default r for random and s for set password okay so i don't want to set password i wanna use default admin and default password one two seven okay so type d and hit enter and next do you wish to install memcache process and its php extension memcache is a service that provide you memory cache service your visitors will get super fast visiting is free and this is the most important so type y and hit enter and also you can install redis uh, redis is the similar to the memcache so i want to install both option uh, type y and hit enter okay then you, if you want to kill the watchdog or run watchdog kill uh, type y and hit enter then wait a few seconds and see our installation process is running now wait 15 to 20 minutes to completing this installation process okay done then you can restart your server type y and hit enter or you have to copy your uh, option uh, some information to log in your uh, cyber panel uh, control panel and visit uh, your ip address uh, colon 8090 i wanna copy this information from here and save this information on your notepad then you can close this putty software uh, i don't want it uh, now i will use it later then go back to your contabo uh, panel uh, bps control panel and you can also 
restart your server from here you have to restart your server if you get any error okay then you will able to visit your control panel so now let's visit this url to access our cyber panel just uh, paste this url on your address bar and hit enter and you will get some uh, connection or SSL certificate issue. Don't worry. You can open this URL from your normal Chrome browser. Then click on advance. Then click on continue or unsave option. Uh, don't worry. I will show you how to secure the connection. Wow. Finally, we have got our cyber panel login page. Then type your uh, username. So our username admin and password is one two three four five six seven. So copy this password or default password. Uh, just copy it and paste your uh, default password. Uh, I will show you how to change this password. Then click on sign in and see we have successfully logged our cyber panel control panel then you can easily install your wordpress website any website or uh, create your package databases backups emails ssl certificate and anything you can uh, control everything from here okay then ram uses cpu uses and you will get disk uses and you will get uh, resources uh, information so how to change your admin password just go to users and then you can go to the uh, view profile or you can see the admin profile so i wanna change email address and uh, change user password okay then go to modify password from here then select your admin or username then type your first name last name and type your email address so I am typing my email address and set your any email address, don't worry, you can type your uh, Gmail address or any business mail, then type your password, type your confirm password to log in this cyber panel account. Then click on modify user button. Okay, we have successfully changed our default password for this admin user. And next time you can log in your cyber panel using the username and new password. Now I want to create a website space to access our website file manager and upload our PHP script or WordPress website. You can easily manage your files and folders after uh, creating your website. Go to websites and click on create website and then select package from here. So by default you can select default package or you can create your new package. If you want to create multiple packages for your multiple user you can easily create it. Just go to packages click on packages and open the create new package from new tab and here you can type your package name then type domain amount how many domain use this package user if you type zero and this package user can use unlimited domain and if you type 10 and they can add 10 domain using this package and the disk space and if you type 1024 and then these package users can use 1 GB disk space or if you type 0 and they will get unlimited disk space and type your brand with amount then type FTP account amount how many FTP account can create of this package user then type database amount and emails amount and then click on this button create packages okay we have successfully created this package and go back to your uh, website option and reload this page and as you can see we have got our new package and select this package and select your package user then type your domain name but we don't have any domain name right now you can type your existing domain name or you can buy a new domain name and next i will show you how to buy a domain name then pointing this domain name on your web server to buy this domain name you can visit nameship.com and i will give you this link in the video description box below you can search your domain name from here or you can buy domain name from godaddy or another platform type your domain name and click on search button and as you can see we have got this domain name and this domain is available then click on this button by now and you can use this coupon code to get discount then click on checkout then paste your coupon code over here then click on apply but we don't able to use uh, coupon code because of we wanna create new account and type your account information then click on this button create account and continue okay and then you can use your previous coupon code okay 
just type your coupon code or paste your coupon code and apply and we have got the discount okay then you can select your domain registration here and uh, you can active domain privacy option and you can buy premium dns but i don't need it uh, just scroll down and click on confirm order and type your account all information and address and then type your credit card or debit card information or you can buy domain name using your paypal account after adding your card information then click on the continue button and then we have successfully ordered this domain name and go to your namecheap dashboard and as you can see this is our new domain name and we have purchased this domain name for one year then click on manage and scroll down and from here make sure you have selected namecheap basics dns and then go to advanced dns option and you can easily manage your dns records from here and you can delete default records and you can add your new records over here so i wanna delete old records then i wanna add my server ip address so just uh, click on add new record and select a record and type your host name so our host name our domain name or you can type at the right top so this means your domain name okay so first of all we need to copy our uh, server ip address just go back to your uh, cyber panel so i wanna copy this ip address this is my ip address and paste it over here then save this option after saving the dns records domain will hit your server ip address but we don't able to access this website because of we wanna add this domain name from our cyber panel and go back to your cyber panel and paste your domain name over here then type your email address and select your php version for this website don't worry next time you can edit it or select or change your php version from here and then select uh, ssl certificate i wanna active ssl certificate for this domain name or for our website and then select dkim support and uh, check on it create mail domain then click on this button create website and wait a few seconds so we have successfully installed our website then click on list websites you can easily access your all website from the list website section and as you can see this is my new website domain name and ip address and our website is active now and if you visit this url or domain name and as you can see we have got cyber panel installed uh, default page so you can edit this page or you can upload your custom website course or you can install wordpress click on manage option and from here you can easily manage your domain name and as you can see you have got ssl certificate and you can uh, add new domain from here you can see your domain list and you can manage your ssl certificate or you can install wordpress from here also you can install git prestashop and another uh, platform so first of all i want to access my file manager to edit or upload our custom php script just click on file manager from here then open the public html folder and here you can see this is our default file edit this file and you can type your own code or you can type your own text so for example i am typing my name and click on save change button and if you visit your domain and if you reload it and as you can see this is my name okay so from here you can upload any custom code or php script or install wordpress website you will get all files and folder in the public html folder and i wanna delete the default uh, html file from here then i wanna try to install wordpress so go to your cyber panel option click on cyber panel and scroll down and go to wordpress click on the wpls cache and type your blog name or wordpress website name so i am typing my website name and then type login username and login password to login your wordpress and type your email address and make it blank okay so make it blank i don't want to add path then click on install now then wait a few seconds 
and as you can see we have successfully installed wordpress and if you visit your domain or reload this page and as you can see we have got wordpress default page and if you want to access your wordpress dashboard you can type slash wp hyphen admin and hit enter and as you can see we have got the login page and type your admin user and type your password then click on login and as you can see we have successfully logged our wordpress dashboard then you can install wordpress theme plugin and make any website from here just go to appearance and click on themes and you can easily add any theme and you can follow my previous video to make any wordpress website e-commerce website or other website then we will know how to install ssl certificate to secure the cyber panel connection and we will make it uh, secure and we have already installed SSL certificate uh, while installing our WordPress website from cyber panel okay and if you face any problem for SSL certificate you can reinstall your SSL certificate from SSL and then click on manage SSL then select your domain name then click on install SSL and it will be uh, secure your connection and your users can use credit card and debit card from your website okay then you can click on hostname SSL to secure cyber panel uh, SSL so just click on it and select your domain name then click on issue SSL so we have successfully installed SSL certificate for our cyber panel so if you wanna log in your cyber panel you can use your domain just type your domain name colon 8090 and hit enter and you will get the cyber panel dashboard and you can log in your cyber panel okay type your username and password and as you can see we have successfully secured the cyber panel connection okay and then i will show you how to transfer your existing website from your cpanel or if you use another control panel you can easily transfer it from your uh, one domain to another domain so first of all we need to create a new backup and install new plugin to backup this website and this is my domain and the search for WP Vivid and this is the best WordPress plugin to migrate or transfer your website or create your website backup okay so first of all we need to click on install then click on activate to activate this plugin after activate this plugin then you will see this page and from here we need to create a new backup uh, just go to WP Vivid backup I wanna create backup of this website go back to your WP Vivid interface and select this option uh, database plus files okay. then select save backup file to local then click on this button backup now and wait a few seconds and my website is a very small website after making them backup and you will see this option then click on download and again click on download option and you will get this uh, file on your computer and as you can see we have successfully downloaded this backup file and i will show you how to upload it from your new website okay so go to your new website and this is my new website and i have installed this website from cyber panel and reload it and this is the default wordpress website and we need to install same plugin from our new website and search for wpvbit and click on install now then click on activate okay so we have successfully activated this plugin and now i want to upload this backup file from our new website click on upload but before uploading we need to configure some php option maximum execution time and upload maximum file size so just go back to your cyber panel and go to php section uh, click on php then click on the edit php config then select your php version or you can easily modify your php version from here so i have selected php 8.1 from here you can increase your maximum execution time and upload maximum file size and another thing but before increasing these features i want to know what's the php version and memory limit of our wordpress website you can check it from your wordpress dashboard just go back to your wordpress dashboard and go to tools and open site help from new tab and click on info then I scroll down and click on server and as you can see we have got our php version and memory limit and other thing so now i wanna try to change these options from here i have selected php 8.1 and uh, i wanna change this option memory limit 
you can type uh, 1024 m or 1 gb okay then you can increase maximum execution time from here 30 seconds to 600 seconds or you can type 900 seconds from here then you can increase upload maximum file size if your backup size under the 2 gb you, you can type 2048 also, you can increase these options and click on save changes to save this option. Okay, that's all and go back to your WordPress uh, website and upload this website's backup file. Just select your backup file from here, then click on open. Then click on upload and wait a few minutes. After uploading this file, then you will see this option and we can restore this backup file just click on restore from here and click on restore button and click on ok and wait some minutes and our restoring process is running now after restore this website and you will get this login page and if you visit your website and as you can see we have successfully transferred our website following the same process you can transfer your existing website one hosting to another hosting one domain to another domain but you have to use your old website password to log in this website next i will show you how to secure this server and how to secure cyber panel also cyber panel has lots of features uh, like docker manager and another option so if you click on docker manager and you can easily manage docker uh, container and manage uh, everything from here and if you want to secure your uh, cyber panel just click on security and click on firewall then you will see the default firewall of cyber panel and from here you can enable and disable the firewall you can enable by clicking this button also you can allow or add more ports from here and as you can see cyber panel added these ports by default and then go to uh, secure ssh you can easily secure your ssh connection and you can change the ssh uh, port from here and you can see your ssh keys from here but i don't want to change this thing uh, just uh, go to the next step uh, more security and click on install now so we have successfully installed it and active these options from here then go to the next option more security rule specs okay then active this option and you can enable it then go to the next step csf and you can easily active csf uh, firewall from here so i wanna use default firewall of cyber panel i don't wanna use csf firewall then you can easily manage your version and go to the version management to see your running version of cyber panel and you can easily manage your uh, version of uh, cyber panel uh, cloud option let's click on connect to connect your cyber panel to cyber panel uh, cloud server then type your username and password and if you don't have account click on sign up and type your account information then click on sign in up then verify your email address go to your email then check your email and you will get this verification code then click on this button and you will see this dashboard this is the cyber panel cloud manager dashboard and click on servers and click on connect we need to connect our cyber panel to cyber panel cloud manager then type your server name or you can type any name your company name or website name then type your ip address so this is my ip address cloud manager cyber panel and paste it over here then type your cyber panel login password and type uh, cyber panel access port cyber panel port 8090 so we don't need to change it let's click on connect button and you will see this error so don't worry i will show you how to fix it so you have to give access uh, for your admin user just uh, go to your cyber panel and click on users and click on api access and we need to give the access uh, enable and click on save changes and that's it and again go back to your cyber panel cloud manager and click on connect and as you can see we have successfully connected our server and following the same process you can connect your multiple servers uh, from the server section then click on connect and again you can connect your another server into the cyber panel cloud then click on lead servers to see your server list and as you can see this is my server and we have uh, added this server and click on manage 
and as you can see our CPU load memory states so you can see your OIPS at least uh, from here you can see our domain packages and owner name and everything so also you can deploy WordPress from here then I want to show you how to change the version of cyber panel click on settings and click on upgrade then you can select cyber panel version from here you can easily upgrade it and as you can see we have got cyber panel uh, version and as you can see we have selected OS version Ubuntu and that's it and next I will show you how to connect Cloudflare CDN on your web server and now let me explain what is CDN and why use CDN. So CDN means content delivery network and why use CDN service for your website. So I'm going to show some example to knowing you what is the CDN and how it works. For example, you have purchased web hosting from Singapore or another location. Then you have hosted your website on the web hosting. And if someone try to visit your website from another location, and this is the very lengthy process. First of all, they can send request from their device. Then your website will be load their device. That's why we need to use CDN service or content delivery network. And CDN service provider has a uh, lots of server location and they can copy your website to their servers. And if someone try to visit your website and they can visit your website from their nearest server. Okay. And that's why they will get first loading website performance. Then you can easily reduce your website loading time. So first of all, visit cloudplayer.com and hit enter also you can manage your all dns records using cloud player no need to log in your namecheap or another domain provider and uh, manage your dns service we can manage all dns from our cloud player account so first of all we need to sign up our account click on sign up and uh, type your email address and type your password then click on sign up and click on add a website or application then paste your domain name then click on continue then you will get multiple plans from here so you can purchase paid plan but i wanna use a free plan then click on continue button and wait a few seconds and as you can see we have got our existing records and we have added this ip address from our name chief domain management system then we need to disable this option and we need to use DNS only. Make sure we have disabled it. And then click on the continue button and wait a few seconds. And as you can see, we have got another page. So we need to log in our Namecheap account. Then we need to replace these name servers and use Cloudflare name server from our Namecheap account. So log in your Namecheap account and go to dashboard and go to your domain section then click on manage then we have to change our name servers from the name server section uh, select custom dns from here and paste your cloudflare uh, name server just copy it and paste it over here and copy the second one and again paste it over here and save this option and that's all and go back to your cloudflare and uh, click on this button uh, scroll down and click on this button and then click on it then you can enable this option automatic https rewrites and then save this option and the next step you can enable it always https but i don't want it i have activate https or ssl certificate from cyber panel so i don't want to use it then save these options from here then click on finish then click on this button check name servers and wait 15 to 16 minutes and then as you can see we have got a message so we have successfully connected our website to cloudflare then go to ssl and tls option and make sure you have selected flexible from here because of i don't want to use ssl certificate from cloudflare directly i want to use or active SSL certificate from a cyber panel and already I have activate SSL certificate from our cyber panel and make sure you have make it flexible also we can manage our DNS from DNS section just click on DNS and you can add your new record or you can delete your existing records from here and if you visit your namecheap and if you go to your domain section and if you go to advanced dns you don't find your 
existing DNS records from here. Uh, you have to manage all DNS from your Cloudflare option or Cloudflare DNS records, and you can easily add, delete, and manage it from your Cloudflare. And next, we will know how to create business mail for your business for free. First of all, I will show you how to create these custom emails and integrate these emails to your WordPress website or any PHP script. Then you can easily fix your email sending issue for your WordPress website or any PHP script. Like if someone order from your WooCommerce website and your email notification is not sending, you can easily fix this issue using Joho Mail SMTP server. And I will show you step by step how to configure and how to use Joho Mail service. First of all, you can search Joho Mail from Google search for Joho Mail and you can visit this page Joho Mail. Also you can use MailJet, SendinBlue and another platform for your email solution. But in this video I will show you how to use Joho Mail. So just click on this link. Then you will see this Joho Mail homepage and from here you can check Joho Mail pricing. Then you will see this pricing page and it has three types of plans and you will get 5GB per user and you will get these features at $1 but I don't want to use this plan I wanna use free forever plan then you will get 5GB per user for free and web access and free mobile apps you can use Jomel mobile apps and email hosting for single domain but you can create multiple email address from your single domain so I wanna sign up my account, just click on sign up now and then type your name, email address and password. So I am typing my information and typing my email address and typing my password to log in to log in my Joho Mail account. Then click on this button sign up. So type a strong password, then verify your email address. So I wanna verify my Gmail address and check your uh, Gmail ID or email ID. And as you can see, we have got a verification code. Uh, just copy this code from here and go back to your Joho Mail uh, registration option and paste it over here, then click on it. Then you will see this page, then you can buy domain name from here. Or if you have existing domain, you can easily connect your domain name. Let's click on add now, then type your domain name. But I have purchased a domain name from namechip.com. You can buy domain name from GoDaddy or another provider. I wanna use this domain and if you don't have any domain name, you can uh, search from Namecheap. So I will give you this link in the video description box below. To buy a new domain name, type your domain name and click on search button and you will see this domain name and if you get is available, you can buy from here or you can choose another extension from here. You can choose your favorite domain extension from here and then click on add to cart and buy this domain using your debit, credit or pen or, or any MasterCard or PayPal account. Then go back to your Namecheap dashboard and copy this domain name from here. Then go back to your Joho Mail and paste it over here. Then type your organization or company name and select your industry tribe from here. Then click on the add new button. Then wait a few seconds and as you can see we have successfully added our domain name. Then click on this button proceed to domain verification using some DNS records. Don't worry I will show you step by step how to use this record. If you use Cloudflare's DNS log in your Cloudflare account then put this DNS option from your Cloudflare DNS section. Go to uh, Cloudflare and go to DNS records and you can add your records from here then click on add record then paste your dns record uh, text record our records type text record so select uh, text and uh, type at the rate of and then copy this dnx value or text value then go back to cloudflare dns section and type at the rate of or type your domain name then select uh, record type so we need to select uh, text record from here and finally paste the text value over here just paste it and then save this option click on save and go back to your joho mail and click on this button verify text record we need to verify this record sometime you have to add 15 to 30 minutes and as you can see we have successfully verified our domain ownership 
and wait a few seconds and we need to create our first mail from here so you can type admin support or info anything whatever you want just type admin and our email address will be admin at the rate of domain.com then click on this button create also you can create multiple email address i will show you later how to create it and from the next phase you can create multiple user or multiple email and as you can see support at our domain.com and this is my admin mail and if you want to add new email just click on add and type your first name last name and username uh, like info at your domain.com then generate your new password from here then click on add button and you can add new email or user from here then go to the next step and we need to set up our group so you can skip this option uh, i don't want to set up group i wanna uh, go to next step proceed to dns and again we need to add some dns records from our dns provider so just copy these dns records and go back to your cloud player account so i wanna delete my existing uh, dns or mx record from here just uh, click on delete and delete all records from here mx record i wanna add joho mail mx record so i have successfully deleted these records and uh, again go back to your uh, joho mail and copy these mx records from here just uh, copy the mx record mx.joho.com and make it priority 10 okay so uh, click on add records and select mx from here then type your domain name or type at the rate and add the mx record below type mx.joho.com okay then uh, make it priority 10 because of our mx record priority is 10 uh, from joho following the same process i wanna add mx2 uh, and priority 20 and mx3 so i have successfully added these records to our cloudflare dns option then uh, go to the next option spf record we need to uh, add spf record just copy it from here click on copy and we need to add uh, text record so just uh, click on add record and uh, select your uh, type record type from here uh, select text and paste your uh, domain name or type at the rate then paste your spf record value then click on save okay we have added this value and record then click on okay and following the same process we need to add domain key from here then click on save and we have successfully added all of records then click on verify all records and wait a few seconds and we have successfully added and verified all records and you can migrate your data but i wanna skip it i wanna go to next step and you can use their mobile apps and you can download their mobile apps from here and you can use joho mail mobile apps so i will show you later how to use mobile apps of joho mail finally click on this button proceed to setup completion and as you can see we have successfully completed our setup process okay and then you can go to the admin console or you can check your email box so i want to check my email or inbox uh, click on this uh, button then you will be redirected to your primary admin email inbox from here you can check your mail and if someone sent any mail to your business mail you can easily read your all mails from here also you can compose any mail from here just click on new mail and you can easily send any mail to another email just type your gmail address or your customer mail address so i'm typing my uh, gmail address and type your mail subject i'm not test this mail uh, just type your email content and all of things then click on send button then check your gmail account i want to check my test mail and open this mail and as you can see we have successfully get this mail from our business mail or custom mail then you can easily replay your mail from here you also you can uh, click on compose and uh, type your business mail uh, send your mail to your business mail or your customer can replay to you then click on this button send and you can check this mail from your joho mail 
and open this mail from here and as you can see we have successfully got this mail from our gmail account so you can show these contents images and all of thing uh, but it hide for security purpose you can show it uh, following the same process and next i want to show you how to log in your joho mail uh, from your mobile application and how to download these mobile apps from your mobile and I will show you how to check or send your email from your Joho Mail mobile application. So let's open your mobile or Android and open Play Store apps and search for Joho Mail. And click on the search button. And as you can see, we have got uh, Joho Mail calendar. So just uh, open these apps and install it from your mobile and open it. And click on the sign in button okay and wait a few second and as you can see we have got the sign in page so i want to log in my custom mail support at our domain.com and typing my password so i have set this password i want to copy this password from here and paste it over here then click on sign in button and as you can see we have successfully logged our account and as you can see this is our inbox then you can check all emails from here you can read emails and send emails from your mobile application and you can log in your multiple emails from here okay that's it and go back to your joho mail website and next i will show you how to connect your joho mail email to your gmail address or your wordpress or php website using joho mail smtp just click on uh, settings icon from your gmail account then click on see all settings so then click on accounts and import and as you can see we have added some email and then click on this option and you can add your joho mail business account uh, from here then you can select your business mail from here and you can send any mail from your gmail account using your business mail and following the same process you can connect your wordpress website and use uh, wordpress smtp plugin so i'll show you how to use smtp and how to you know, fix email issue for wordpress website or any php script if you have contact from or another from you can easily fix it using wordpress smtp and not sending issue just go to plugins and click on add new and you can active any smtp plugin just search for smtp but personally i love uh, fluent smtp plugin because of its support multiple smtp configuration let's install this plugin then click on activate to active this plugin and click on the button or you can go to settings and click on fluent smtp then you can select your favorite smtp provider so i am using joho mail and i will use other smtp or custom smtp just let's click on custom smtp then type your email address and type your all information over here so how to find this information just go to your joho mail and click on the user icon and go to the option admin console so this is our primary email so from the primary email you will get this uh, button uh, admin console then uh, this is our domain name and we have two organization or two email address so we have created this email address and you can add multiple email address or another email address from here uh, type first name last name and username then go to dashboard and you can see all of things from here and let's click on mail settings and click on tools and configurations then click on configurations and from here you will get smtp configuration and as you can see we have got our all configuration information and uh, let's copy this smtp outgoing server and go back to your wordpress dashboard and paste it in the smtp host field and type your smtp port so our smtp port is 465 for ssl or you can uh, type or paste 587 let's paste it in this field and select tls from here not select ssl then paste your from email so our from email is our business mail so you can type your own business name and uh, just to go to your email or organization option from your joho mail admin console and i want to connect this email address let's copy this email address from here support at your domain.com and paste it over here from email address okay that's it and type your from name you can type your business name or anything don't worry 
and scroll down and our SMTP username is our business mail copy it from here and paste your SMTP username then type your SMTP password or email password so we have created this password from our business mail then click on this button so we have saved this option then click on the email test uh, tab and select your from email and uh, type your email address you can type any email address or gmail id to test your uh, test mail i am typing my gmail id then click on this button but we have got this error because of this is our port issue just go to settings option and click on the pencil icon and scroll down let's select tls if you set 5874 then save this configuration then again go to the email test option and send your test mail from here and uh, check your gmail id then open this mail or check this mail from here and as you can see we have successfully configured our mail or smdb and as you can see we have got this mail from our uh, custom mail that means our email smdb is working now and following the same process you can add your multiple uh, provider or multiple email just click on this option add another configuration and you can easily add or configure your business mail then you can easily use this mails for your contact from or another provider like if you are a WooCommerce user or if you have an online store you can easily configure for your WooCommerce website just go to WooCommerce and click on settings then click on the emails tab from here you can easily customize your uh, order notification mail and if someone order and you will get email notification to the email address as an admin so you can modify it also you have to set from email from the email sender options and type from email so if someone order from your website and you will get email from this email address and also your customer will get email notification from the email address so you can type your custom mail or business mail uh, like order at your uh, domain.com but must you have to create this email from your joho mail then configure this mail from the fluent smtb then type your custom mail over here but I have created this email from our Joho mail. That's why I am typing support at the right of our domain.com. Then type your from name and save this configuration from here. You can change the base color and anything. So following this video, you can fix your email notification issue for your VPS hosting or another server and create your business mail for free. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel.